and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. It's Real Salt Lake, and they face the Colorado Rapids. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the game begins. And now Gomez. Davies. Oh, getting the ball forward. Ruiz well read to ease the pressure Sam Nicholson it's with Acosta how about the cross so now a corner Who can they pick out? Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Now smuggled behind for another corner. Now sending it in. And the danger is averted. to take the lead intercepting it intelligently Damir Kraila Rosenberry Galvan definitely look as though they want to make this move count surely and it was a great chance for 1-0. Well, that should have been the opener, shouldn't it? What a chance that was. Galvan Cole Bassett Can they get in behind them? Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead <laughs> Now 
Well, the stats don't lie. It's been very tense and an even battle so far, but neither side has played with enough quality to pose a real threat going forward, and that needs to change. Ronan with it. Brian Galvan moving it forward. Options in the middle. Can they find a gap in the defence? Could be! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. It's a short one. Using his physique to shield the ball and then wait for others to get there. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And they kick off here. Well, they've got things going again here. And I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Brian Oviedo. Ruiz. Good movement. Well, here's the replay. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? Just look how he goes past his marker to get his shot away. That's a really good goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Wilson. Sam Nicholson. Danny Wilson. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Oh, no, not even close to hitting the target that time. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Davies. Gomez. Davies well as you can see the hosts have had much less of the ball but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas they've got forward with pace and with numbers it's been a great counter-attacking display yes a really effective performance all in all can he finish this making sure nothing untoward happened superb tackle Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Congratulations to Bassett. Possession lost. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. 
And now both sides will make personnel switches. Goodman. It's with Acosta. Nicholson. Sam Nicholson. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Pressing high to win the ball. And attempting the through ball. Nicely saved. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. So the corner played into the box. Well, no end product. And cut again from the flank. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And Gomez. And showing fine vision. Just couldn't capitalise there. Andrew Gutman. Jonathan Lewis. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today. And now they get the ball right.